Good afternoon, Little Flowers Church family. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Also, your family is safe in this time. I just want to check in with you and also would like to share the scripture that I meditate on this morning uh, with you. So please be with me and I hope this message uh, can give you God's peace and comfort. Uh, the scripture is from Deuteronomy chapter 1 verses 29 uh, to 31. Let me read this for you. I said to you, have no dread or fear of them. The Lord your God who goes before you is the one who will fight for you. Just as he did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. And in the wilderness will you saw how the Lord your God carried you just as one carried a child all the way that you traveled until you reached this place. Amen. This word is from uh, God to Israelites uh, through Moses. He said this, uh, he delivered God's message to his people when, we, when they were in wilderness. They were in Egypt and they, God saved them and brought them to the wilderness to let them get to uh, Canaan, the promised land. And the verse 31st touched me because it is the God's words and Moses' uh, testimony that God carried you like a person carried a child. When I was second or third grade, greater, uh, I uh, twisted my ankle so I didn't I couldn't walk my parents uh, my father uh, brought me to the school and after the class he came uh, to bring me to uh, home he carried me on his back and walk from school to the home, my home. I cannot forget the warmth and the sweet sweetness of his doing, his caring. It was not a short distance and he didn't use the car. He just carried me on his back from the school to there. As a young child, I was very happy. And I was very, I felt I am loved by him so much at the time. The Israelites saw God's care God's love and God's peace throughout that journey from Egypt to the promised land. It was not easy. There were many fights. They were troubled. They, they were in the trouble. Uh, they were in trouble because they didn't have water, because they didn't have food. But God provided all and this time Moses reminded them of how God carried them till that time think about this if you are carried by someone how do you feel if the someone is the one who you love and also the one 
who loved you. It would be good time, and you feel you would feel the warmth and kindness of the person, and the person's love and grace also. We are in this new situation, which we never experienced before, but we can care to each other. And God is carrying us to the end of this situation. Let's trust in God and let's follow God. God is our master, our Lord, and our parent. And God loves us and helps us. So this time, let's trust in God because he is holding us in his arms. Let us feel his presence and also let us feel his peace and kindness. I hope this message comforts you and also give you the hope and peace as God gives me God's peace and grace when I read and meditate on this scripture. I would like to share a uh, song. No, actually, let us sing together. Uh, I'd like to sing this song together uh, with you, I mean. Uh, there is none like you. Uh, the lyric is this. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I could search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. Your mercy flows like a river wild, wide and healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. There is none like you. Would you sing with me? There is no one like you. Let us sing. There is no
Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for being our parent and our guide and our peace. Lord, we remember that you loved us, carried us, and helped us till now. And we still trust in you and would like to follow you. Thank for giving us your warm heart. Thank for giving us your healing hand. Please remember all your people who need your help, your grace, and your mercy. Please remember your children who need your spirit and peace. Lord, we would like to help you in our lives all the time. And we would like to have your spirit all the time. This time we ask you, give us your spirit, your strength, and your peace. So that let us feel your love. Let us have your grace. Lord, you know us and our situation, and we are your children, and we are your people. Please keep us and hold us in your arms. Please bless everyone today, and let us have your strength to endure and to enjoy today that is the gift from you in the name of jesus we pray amen, amen. thank you i hope you have a good time and enjoy your day and see you on sunday at our online worship thank you bye bye